Welcome back to Roughing It. We made our way further into the deep south. Mississippi. When traveling through various states and areas, the speed limit changes and is often well enforced. Tip number one. The app Waze will tell you the correct speed limit and also help you navigate. Tip number two. If you want to stay safe and hands-free on the road, if you don't have a phone clip, here's a budget hack. Industrial grade Velcro you can get at Home Depot for a couple of bucks. So we are in Montgomery, Alabama. Just took a break on the road. Oh, it is exhausting doing pulling those hours, so I'm just gonna let Skylet play. Run around. Yeah, do you have a stick? Uh-oh. <laughs> She's armed and dangerous in Montgomery, Alabama. Instead, we enjoyed more of the Alabama countryside before crossing the next state line. We have just reached Georgia. Are you happy, Skyler? So I just wanted to show you, just in Georgia, we just after Peach Grove, and it's just, it's so pretty, you know? So yesterday I got really mad at Skyla for rolling around in the dirt. She's trying so hard not to roll around. So hard she wants to. We retired for the night alongside a quiet Peach Grove, much to Skyler's relief. We lucked out as we found ourselves right next to a specialty Peach Mart. Okay, first of all, any place that has rocking chairs for you to sit in, I'm in. I finally got my rocking chair. My southern rocking chair bit and my coffee. And I just got a peach turnover pie that I'm very excited to eat. Okay, I'm at Lane's, Lane, sorry, Lane's Southern Orchards where they grow and make their own peach stuff. I'm eating a peach pie turnover. This is the best thing I've ever tasted. If you are in Georgia, I'm pretty much dead center in the state. If you ever come here, you must come to Lane Southern Orchard. We're in Georgia, aren't we, Stanley? We enjoyed our Georgia comfort and a little repose before hitting the road again. You don't have to have a lot of money to do this trip. You know, I want to be honest about stuff. Yeah, because I'm traveling on less than $3,000 budget to go and see the United States. Part of that is that in order to cut costs, we're not staying in hotels, we're not staying in accommodations, we're camping, and I've outfitted the car to sleep in. Part of our journey in saving money is uh, stopping at rest stops. I'm uh, I'm cooking up succotash, which actually is uh, was a depression era food because of its cheapness and its good nutrition. That's roughing it. I found the Margaret Holmes line of canned goods to be tasty and budget friendly. Tip number three. If you struggle with staying on budget. One helpful method is to have your savings in one account and release funds to your spending account on a weekly basis. I'm really excited to go to Savannah. 
I've been listening to Midnight in the Garden of Good and Evil, the book on audio. And I'm really excited to go there, and I want to learn about the history. Before we headed into the city, we made another stop first. Okay, we just pulled into Fort Pulaski, Pulaski National Monument. According to the sign, there are gators, so we're not gonna go swimming. I wanted to go swimming, uh, we're gonna pass on that. Originally constructed to fortify against foreign coastal attacks, Fort Pulaski saw the most action when Americans fought Americans during the Civil War. Hey, don't even think about crossing over. Here, stand by the plaque and let me take your picture. Smile. See the cannon fire pock marks. It's about 93 degrees right now, and you just imagine like what must it have been like in a woolen soldier's uniform with all the heavy gear they had to carry. It must have just been really hard. Boy, I would not want to be in that fort. <laughs> You can almost like feel the impacts just looking at all of those pock marks. Oh my gosh. Amazingly, a few of the shots that were fired here from the cannons, the shells are still lodged in the wall. With an estimated 25 million bricks and walls 11 feet thick, the fort was no match for the new long range rifle cannons of the era. Inside, you can see how the soldiers lived. Officers' quarters. Enlisted quarters. The victory was a major turning point in the war as it gave Union forces control of the port, which is still used today. The Tybee Island Lighthouse guided those ships and is the tallest and oldest lighthouse in Georgia. You can see American Union soldiers' graffiti carved into the bricks. Gotta go to the powder room, Skylar. The gunpowder room, that is. Climb to the top for an Glenn's aerial gonna, view of the fort. Well, my hat blew off, blew off right there. Where do you reckon it went? There's also a network of hiking trails around Cockspur Island. So this is another dog-friendly national park we got in using our national park pass. You know what I think is interesting is all these shells are used in their construction materials, which I find pretty kick-ass. Inside the fort, the walls are constructed with tabby concrete, a method originally brought to the south by the Spanish settlers. Shells? I like that there are dogs in the picture of this. <gasps> Damn. I, you know, any place where you don't put bug repellent, the bugs will get you. I didn't put it on my upper arms underneath my sleeves, and man, just, just right there. Bugs are getting me. So, gotta bring bug repellent. The book Treasure Island opens up with the pirate Flint uh, dying in Savannah, basically. Dying of whatever rum drink. Give me the rum! And this, we're, we're on, we're, we're still at Fort Pulaski. What a weird name for the South, a, like a Polish name. But um, this forest makes me think like there's buried treasure. I want there to be pirates on this island. I mean, don't you feel like at any moment there could be just pirates somewhere? Even though we're on a path, we are seriously in the jungle. And there's a swamp over there and alligator warnings. I never knew I could sweat this much. See, humidity for me is, humidity is nothing. 
because I used to live in Hawaii and you want to talk about hum humid, but this is pretty. This is pretty neat. So we're on the North Pier and it is quite hot, but Skylar's enjoying it, sort of, except for the fact that she's hot. As the temperature rose, so did my concern for Skylar. So we retreated back to the air-conditioned car and left Cockspur Island and Fort Pulaski. Join us next time as we travel to Savannah. Mm-hmm.